In this video, I'm going to show you how to stay organized in your EndNote Basic, also known as EndNote Web or EndNote Online account. So here I am in my EndNote Basic account, and I have, if you notice on the left, eight unfiled references, and what I'd like to do is organize them into groups. So I already have some groups created, but let me start by showing you how to create new groups. So you'll navigate to the top taskbar to organize, and you'll click on Manage My Groups. And here you can create a new group, which is what I'll do. You can name it whatever you like, give it a name based on project. Me, I really like to name things based on date. So 2020, 12, 21, and a project name. And that way I can stay really organized. These I think were on COVID, so I'll just name it COVID. I'll click OK. Now I have a new group. So you'll see that some of my existing groups do have references in them already. I have the option to share and manage sharing on these groups. I have the option to rename these groups if I wanted to change the name. And I can also delete them if I'm finished working with them. So I do have this group that I just created with zero references. So I want to get my references into this group. I'm going to navigate back to my references in the top taskbar. And I'm going to click on Unfiled here on the left. And I believe when I pulled these, they were all about COVID. So what I want to do is just select all. Now you could select some if you were working on different projects, if you had pulled them in from different sources on different topics but you get the idea. You just select the ones you want, and then you can add to group. So I'm going to add them to my new group, which is 2020-1221 COVID. I also have the option here to make a new group if I wanted to do it at this point. So I'll put them in my group COVID, and here they are. So I no longer have any references in my unfiled list, but I do have those eight references now in the COVID group. So that's a really great way to stay organized by project, and I hope that this is helpful to you. Feel free to reach out to me or your librarian for more assistance. And thanks for watching.